Hi everyone, welcome back to a second part to the vine creation tutorial. I was recently asked the question after someone watched the original tutorial on how to create vine for how do you create more branches after you have the initial one set up? And this is a great question. This is um, a common thing that you'd want. It, you would want more than just one vine um, being created in your scene. So right now I have uh, this vine here. You can see it animating along the curve and up and around the, uh, the geometry pole there and that was covered in the very first tutorial and so the question is how do I add in more branches and I'll go about showing you that now so you can pick up or where I left off in the first one or you can start scratch and just go anew I'll give you a quick view of the scene here so I have a cylinder here um, I have the path deformer set to this path here this line uh, I put a turbo smooth on it just to smooth it out a little bit. The taper, um, that was covered in that very first Vine tutorial, so go ahead and take a quick look at that if you have questions on the taper. And I just have the animation going from 0 to 100, so you can see it's just going around that, that uh, gray pole there. Okay, so basic understanding of the scene setup, we'll get started to uh, further enhance it. Uh, the first thing I want to do is actually name things. It'll, get a little more complicated if things are called cylinder one, two, three, four throughout the scene if you don't start uh, giving things names. So with uh, this green guy here, I'll just call this vine zero, zero, one. Um, maybe I'll call this vine zero, zero, one curve. And this can be the pole. Okay, so we have three objects in the scene, the vine, the curve, and the pole, and I'll just duplicate this pole. So now we have two, and I'll rename this. This will be the second vine. So here's a two, and I'll also color it green because no one wants a gray vine. That's just fungi. Okay, so I'll go to my top view. Um, again, I'll go over to the line. Uh, here it is, the line, and I, this is the initial curve that the first vine is growing on, and I'll start my vine second curve from somewhere touching this curve so it looks like it branches off from it. So maybe the second vine doesn't quite reach the pole to wrap around, maybe it kind of shoots off to the side and does its own thing. And so I'll just start it over here. So my first click is just right here. And again like we were creating the other other curve, you just kind of zigzag it around here and there, however you want it to look. And then right click to finish that curve. Uh, right click again to get out of the line edit mode. And then go ahead and just play around with these these points and kind of smooth them out a little bit. You know what? Between jaggies. You can also right uh, grab all these points here, right click, and then go to smooth, and that'll smooth out the curve a little bit. Okay, so again, uh, might as well name everything. So this is the vine. So here's a two curve. And then we'll now attach the vine two to the vine two curve. So this is just like from the first tutorial, you're going down to your modifier here. You find your path to form, picking the path, clicking the the, uh, the curve, moving to the path, and then going down to the cylinder here and playing with its uh, the radius settings and the height. Okay. So now we have a vine here uh, that's ready to start animating on this vine to curve, and I'll actually shrink the height a little more. And the 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 trick to making more than one vine grow is that they kind of have to be waiting in the scene, but hidden. So I'll make the radius start at, at zero. So right now you can't actually see that there's a curve anywhere in the scene. It's, so it's just it's just kind of in wait. And so I'll just play my animation. I'll see at around frame 46 or so for this setup that that is when the initial vine is getting towards the curve here for the second vine to start growing. So that'll be my starting point to start um, scaling the radius of that other vine and this is where the naming is going to come in. So if I go up here, select by name, I can then click uh, Vine2Geo, so click OK, and I'll go ahead and turn on Auto Key, so now we're ready to start putting some keyframes on here. I'll go down to the cylinder, and um, I'll just scrub over to the end of the animation, and then say at frame 100 become radius 1.2. This is just a guess. You can tweak this number later on. But now I have my two keyframes. I have my end keyframe and then I have my start one. And by default the auto key places a key at zero and then at the, the place that your uh, time slider is currently at. So I have a frame on 100 as well as zero. And if you remember from just a moment ago, we know that at frame 46 is when this first vine gets to 
the creation point of the second one. And that's where I'll go ahead and just left click drag and uh, bring that keyframe over to 46. So until frame 46, this cylinder is um, of zero radius. And it's just kind of hanging out and waiting. And then at frame 46, it'll start growing in its radius until it hits that 1.2 at the very end. And this is sort of the initial setup, so we're almost there. So again, um, with the Vine 2 selected, I'll go up to my path, path Deformer. And again, I'll use that same stretch command like we created with that first one. So uh, at the end, you know, I'll frame 100. You can always play with your framing however you like. I'll just stretch this Oops. until we make it to the very end of the curve or however far I felt like going with it. So around, I'll just call it around uh, stretch 69, it should be at the ending point. Okay, so now we have auto key again. So once again, go ahead and move that keyframe from four, 0 to 46. And now you can see that it starts growing right when the other one gets there. And it's quite jaggy at the moment, so we should go ahead and clean that up. So I'll turn off auto key, I'll go to cylinder, and with the, uh, the height segments is what is causing the jagginess to happen. There's just, there's five of them right now. We need way more than that. So let's go ahead and crank that up. Crank, crank, crank until it looks right. There's no magic number to use. It's pretty much by eyeball or by, you know, how fast you want renders to go. Or if it's in real time, then you have to worry about, you know, poly counts and things like that. So this is totally up to you what that number becomes. So just a quick playback here. You can see that um, from frame 0 to frame 46, it's only that first vine. When it gets to here at frame 46, it starts now animating that new one. It starts thin, and it kind of grows, 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 and gets bigger as as it uh, extrudes out. And again, we can do the same sort of setup as with this one. So I can throw a turbo smooth on it. I can leave it as one iteration or, or more. That's up to you as well. And I can also throw the uh, the taper on like we have the other one. So taper, and uh, again, play up the mount, find whatever you feel suits best for, for what you're working on. So there you go. One vine, and then a second one growing, and you can just keep doing the same exact method over and over and over again, and you'll have as many vines animating up whatever it is that you want and just taking over your scene. So I hope this helps. Uh, let me know. And again, uh, if this is the first time you're watching this video, like it, subscribe, ask me questions. I'll make sure to get back to you. Thanks again. Bye.